Hello everyone, today we're going to calibrate our pressure advance using Orca Slicer. However, before you calibrate your pressure advance, you want to make sure you've calibrated your temperature and flow rate as well. I'll link those videos down in the description as I have tutorials for them on my channel. Now, let's get started. We'll begin as always by selecting our printer, bed type, and filament. Next, we'll go up here and hit Calibration. Go to Pressure Advance. Here are all the different settings. I have, I'm have i running a Bamboo Lab A1, so I have a direct drive extruder. Next, we choose our method. In my opinion, the easiest to use method is the PA pattern, so we'll use that. You can also use one of the other methods. I'll link documentations in the description as soon as I'm able. Next, we put in our Start PA, End NPA, and Pressure Advance step. These default settings are usually good enough, but you might have to tweak them for your needs. Let's hit OK. Right here, we have a tiny square that we can move around anywhere on the print bed. If we arrange it, it'll move it to the center. While you might not see it right now, this square is actually where the PA pattern test will go. Let's slice our plate. Pressure advance, in simple terms, is how much filament your printer extrudes when it's accelerating or deaccelerating. Sometimes, when it makes really quick accelerations and deaccelerations, it under or over extrudes. This pressure advance test will help find a parameter that will fix this for us. This model will print a bunch of different lines at different pressure advances, and we can compare the sharpness of the corners to see which pressure advance is the best. Let's hit print. After your print is completed, you don't want to remove it from the build plate as this might damage the results of the test. Now, let's find the arrow with the sharpest corner. For me, it looks like it occurs at 0 0.3. If we follow this line, we can see that this corner looks pretty sharp in comparison with the rest. All right, let's now edit our filament. Scroll down to flow ratio and pressure advance. Unlike flow ratio, we don't have to do any complicated calculations. Just hit enable pressure advance and enter your factor. For me, it's 0 0.3, 0 0.03. Click save and we're done calibrating our pressure advance. As you can probably tell, this is one of the easiest calibrations to do. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to calibrate your retraction, but guess what? You're pretty much halfway done with the calibration process. If you enjoy this content, please drop a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos in this series. See you then.